Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today what we're going to be talking about is the value of a Tableau certification and helping you get a job and also nail your interview. So this is another Tactical Thursday episode where Dr. Hall and I are going to be talking through a specific tactic or challenge that you might face. So today it's gonna to be all about the Tableau certification. So I'm going to kick things off to you, Dr. Hall. Sure. What is the signaling theory of a certification? Sure. Um, first, we want to start with supply and demand. Okay. Uh, so if you have a position that is in relatively high demand, that's going to push your wage up. And if your supply of labor is relatively scarce, that's also going to push your wage up. So you want to pick a profession that has relatively high demand for your labor and you're in relatively scarce supply. Okay. And so what certification can do is kind of bend you into a smaller supply group of labor. Okay. So that alone can kind of sort you into a higher paying job market. Okay. But at the same time, you might be in a more general bucket. And in that general bucket, um, there are lots of applicants. And so a certification can be the signal that sets you apart from the other candidates. In economics, we like to say people make decisions on the margin. And so this certification, while it might seem small at first, might make you look marginally more productive of a worker um, than any of the other people competing for the same position. Wow. So. I love that you're talking in economics terms, but I actually heard back from someone on the podcast okay. that they're almost intimidated of like, do I need an economics degree to get into analytics? And I guess you guys listening, that's not the case. Let me kind of dumb down all this professor speak into <laughs> <laughs> the fact that a certification is a way that you can prove yourself, kind of pre-vet yourself to your interviewer. And there are two different types of certification. So there is a certification of completion, which is essentially meaningless. So if you've taken a LinkedIn course or a Udemy course and you've sat through 10 hours worth of lectures, you'll get that little badge that says, I completed this course. And I guess good job that you sat through that or maybe you had it in the background while you're doing other work. That doesn't really send a very strong signal. What sets apart the certification for Tableau and even you know the exam DA100 for Power BI is that there are stakes. So you have to study and know all of the topics and then either you're going to pass or you're going to fail the exam. And I think that is kind of like, um, I guess to get a little nerdy, it's kind of like the Harry Potter sorting hat. Did you pass or did you not? Mm -hmm. And if you passed, I guess you get to wear the hat and you get to go on the interview. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. So. I would say that, you know, if you really want to like talk about signaling and the role of certifications without getting deep into the theory, it's just the fact that the person who is potentially hiring you doesn't know if you're going to be a high quality worker or a low quality mm -hmm. worker. And that signal is just anything that sends information that you're a high quality worker. And it's just that the signal of a completion certificate it's just a weak signal right partly because there are no stakes as you pointed out before mm -hmm. but also because it's not that scarce so if it's easy to get a lot of people have it and so you think about you know relative scarcity of the supply of the credential the more costly it is to get that signal the more valuable it is and that's why the value of a higher education degree is so high is because you have to invest four years lots of money and you're foregoing alternative wages um, in order to send that strong right. signal. But the Tableau certification is a very strong signal because I can testify by having my own students pursue that Tableau desktop special certification that it is a hard signal to get. Not everyone got it, not every student passed. And I assure them that they should reapply again because that fact that you don't always pass sends a very valuable signal when you do get that credential. Right. I guess the kind of let's close out this conversation around as someone who's trying to get into a new space or a new job or, you know, grow their career, you need to be empathetic to the person who's behind the table who's going to be interviewing you. So if you take kind of, you know, put their perspective on, they 
are taking a risk by hiring someone new. I've actually just hired someone for the first time and I can kind of share a little bit of my thought process. So I'm subcontracting work through someone I found on Upwork to finish a consulting project. And my nightmare scenario, worst case scenario, is that this person does a terrible job, the project gets behind, and then I look terrible to the CFO that I'm consulting for. So any type of signal that you can send, either via a portfolio or certification, or even you know, really knowing how to explain your past work experience, is going to ease the mind of the person hiring you. And that's kind of the name of the game for interviewing. I, Actually, I kind of want to get your take on that. Would you agree, disagree? Well, I mean, you're definitely lowering the transactions cost of the exchange that is the hiring process. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you're providing them more information about your qualities, and you're also reassuring them at the same time. And so it's so it does lower the transactions cost of right. making you more comfortable about hiring that person. Um, and the harder the signal is to fake. Um, the more reassuring it is. Right. So I guess to sum all of this up and put a pin in it, a certification is a great way to ease the mind of the person you're interviewing with, thus making it easier for you to get your next analytics job. Yep. That pretty much wraps up the podcast. Thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you. you subscribe and ring the bell if you want notifications.